Hey, what's up, everybody? You're with for another action figure review. This time, it's not an action figure. It's actually a cosplaying helmet, I guess you can say. This is the Iron Man Marvel Legends or Legends series electronic helmet by Hasbro. If you guys remember, the Hasbro did make the Kylo Ren helmet last year, and it was pretty cool. Came out really nice. Uh, but this one looks like a little bit nicer than the Kylo Ren helmet. It actually lights up and it makes sounds. Uh, the Kylo Ren one did make sounds, but it sounded horrible. Now, let's see how this one stacks up. I'm a huge Iron Man fan, so I was so stoked when I saw this helmet. And it looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. It looks like it's worth more than 100 bucks. And that's another thing. It's worth $100. Well, it's priced $100. That's the retail price of it. And I think it's a decent price for what we're going to get. I'm pretty excited for it. This is the front of the box. Can't even fit it in frame, but here is the side of the box. You can see the helmet pictured right there the back of the box we have the helmet displayed with the face plate up and that looks so cool i'm so happy you could do that with it it looks fantastic oh, i can't wait to get it out of the box and wear it looks awesome and here's the other side it's just the exact same thing as the side that i showed you already and right, here we have the iron man electronic helmet by hasbro out of the package you can see how big it is he's going to be hard to fit in frame for this review unfortunately but here you can see the helmet up close and how its paint is nicely done it's metallic so it looks pretty good it's all plastic but the paint looks metallic so it looks pretty cool uh, the red and the gold all looks nice they did a pretty decent job on the scope and the paint overall here we have a good look at the right side of the helmet and you can see the scope there and the paint now I don't know if it's my specific one but overall the paint on the entire helmet is good except when it comes down to this area here you can kind of see it a little bit here it kind of fades out um, I guess if I could bring it in a little closer here you can kind of see what I'm talking about it looks almost pinkish kind of you see how it changes from this dark red to this red and here we have the back side it looks pretty good doesn't look uh, bad at all the paint is very nicely applied looking at the lower half of the flap that kind of flaps open to put your head in it also is painted better on this side than it is on the uh, ear side where it was kind of fading on the right ear and then here we have the other side a lot better on the paint for this side than the other side for sure so I hate that they do have that inconsistent paint but it's not too bad it's only on the sides but it's not really that noticeable at least it's not on the face mask or anything else that is extremely noticeable now, I do not have batteries in yet but it does take three triple a batteries so not that bad it doesn't need double a or anything bigger than that only triple a so the small ones it's only three of them so for something that makes all the lights and the noises it's not that bad at all uh, what it would do is make sounds when I take the face mask off um, so you would hear sounds and then when I put it back on, just like that, so you can see all the magnets that the mask has, all the magnets here. Uh, it looks like we have two down here, two on the sides, two on the like the temple, and then two on the head. Um, and those are the magnets. And then there's these contacts down here, where this part, uh, the bottom of the face mask connects, and that's pretty much where it makes the connection. And then you connect it together, the magnets snap right in. It holds on very strong, so that's good. You don't have to worry about it falling off at all. There also is a button on the inside uh, right here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but let's get a little closer. And there it is, sitting on the left side, where your mouth would be. And you would hit it, of course the batteries aren't in, the batteries go right here, so just one screw that holds it in. Not these two side ones, disregard those, it's only the one right here. Then you put the three AAAs in there, and then this button is once you have the face mask on, you can dim it by hitting it once, it dims and hit it again, it dims more, and then hit it one more time, it turns off completely so you can see better, or not have it lit so you can see clearly. And then that's how you turn it off as well if you want to leave the batteries in and turn it off. Uh, also, another thing worth mentioning is to put the uh, mask on or the helmet on, the jaw part does slide down on both sides. So that allows you to put your head in there easier. So just like that, you can see how it extended. And then once you put your head inside, you could just snap it or slide it right back in just like that. And here is the back flap that extends out just that much that's it that's for you can slide your head in there easier and then you just put it right back on just like that uh, so here it is with me wearing it the face mask up there it is on the side the other side that's how it looks and then i'm gonna grab the face mask put it on just like that and it lights up 
everything's fit on there good i can see through it pretty good not too bad it's really bright but you can still see through it if you have bad eyesight then maybe you want to dim it down with the button and then dim it all the way down if you want Whatever. so it's not as uncomfortable as i thought it would be it's a little heavy but it's not too bad uh it's not as uncomfortable as the kylo ren helmet that was very uncomfortable maybe after wearing it for a long time it'll be very hurtful for your head but for a little bit seems like it's okay let me try to get the whole helmet in the frame all right so there you guys have it that concludes my review on the marvel legends or legend series iron man electronic helmet by hasbro very cool piece for any iron man fan i highly recommend it i totally geeked out over this and i think this is worth the hundred dollars for it to look somewhat realistic to the movie you would be paying probably more than 200 for it so for the price tag i think you're getting a pretty decent sculpt paint and overall helmet uh, for what you're paying 99.99 even on amazon it's about 94.99 so it's not bad at all in my opinion all right, i hope you guys enjoyed my review please leave a like comment subscribe if you guys would like and you guys have a great day bye that's crispy